Welcome back, everybody. We are back in Vegas for another 36 hour adventure. In this video, I'm gonna eat at one of the best buffets, have some amazing Mexican food, and catch a show at the longest running residency in Vegas, Carrot Top. This time we're staying at Excalibur, and I kinda have a love-hate relationship with this hotel, but the rooms are cheap, the food court is nice, and there's plenty to do here. I don't even know if I should be sitting in this chair. Morning. It is early and we are headed over to the Wicked Spoon to get some breakfast. I'm super excited to go to the Wicked Spoon. I've been watching YouTube videos about this buffet and the day is finally here. I can't wait to try the bone marrow, the beef tatiki, the crab legs, and all of their delicious desserts. I came here once for a late lunch and the wait was over an hour and a half long. So be sure to make your reservations ahead of time. The Angry Mac here is one of my favorites. All right, now that I'm stuffed, it's time for a room tour and a nap. I don't even know if I should be sitting in this chair. There's some weird stains on it. Uh, we are in the resort tower, king size room. And yeah, it's a little worse for wear. So I'm gonna show you some of the highlights. One of the things that I find odd about Excalibur rooms is that like the only light switch on the wall is the entry light and the bathroom light. All your other lights, that has a switch like up in there. That one does, that one does, that one does. And then like, it's not even that bright in here. It's almost like they're trying to make it dark so you don't see all the things. I have no complaints about the bed. It is very comfortable. A little bit of stuff that could be cleaned up. I guess I probably shouldn't touch that. I do get a really good strip view though. Excalibur Hotel and Casino is a budget hotel and casino, but they have a decent food court that will make the entire family happy. There's a Krispy Kreme, a Popeyes, hot dog on a stick, Pizza Hut, and there's a new Fat Burger location. Their buffet is second to none in its price class. Uh, I probably enjoy Excalibur Buffet more than any other buffet in Vegas. For ladies night, you can go to Thunder from Down Under. Buca de Beppo is awesome. If you've never eaten here, you definitely gotta check this place out. Huge family sized portions, and I don't know if they do it in Vegas, but you can get a ridiculous Sunday for your birthday. All right, decided to come check out the pool. It is hot, it's 108 degrees. I'm not gonna go in the pool, but I am gonna go get a Dole Whip, because I've never had one. So let's go to Drenched and grab a Dole Whip. There are three public pools and one private pool and plenty of loungers for everybody. The bartender put so much rum in my Dole Whip, it was ridiculous. But for that price, he better, I guess. And now it's time to head over to Luxor to see Carrot Top. But first, we need to stop at Diablo's Cantina. It's right at the top of the escalator on the second floor. The vibrant decor and lively atmosphere added to the overall experience. I got the queso fundido and the flaming out tacos with beans and rice. The menu is pretty big, so I'm sure anyone could find something that they would like. And there's a wheel you can spin for a drink deal. There was so much food I couldn't eat it all. I used a My Vegas reward for this meal, so I saved $20, making my total $29.25. Then I went and saw Carrot Top. It was hilarious, especially if you're like a little bit older. You'll understand all of his jokes, and you know, you know, you remember Carrot Top, I'm sure. And you can tell he really enjoys doing what he does. 
After the show, the weather had cooled down enough that I could take a nice little walk on the southern part of the strip. I really don't mind Excalibur Hotel and Casino. I just wish a few things were better. The property is really starting to show its age and needs a renovation. Besides their upstairs food court, they also have Baja Fresh, Dick Sauce Resort, and a Johnny Rockets. There's an arcade downstairs for the kids. And let's not forget the Tournament of Kings, the medieval show that comes with a meal. So there really is something for everybody here. It is coming to the end of our 36 hours in Vegas and I had an amazing time. Went to the Wicked Spoon, it was everything I wanted it to be. Uh, we went to Carrot Top, he is hilarious. If you get the chance to check out the show, go check out his show. And then we had dinner at Diablo's, and other than that, we just wandered around, stayed in the hotels, because it's hot outside. Who it's hot. And uh, yeah, it was just a great time. I had a lot of fun, and I'm ready to come back. So, see you next time.